What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be installing some sound deadening into the 80 mil thickness and I think they even make a 120 mil thickness but I opted to go with the 50 mil thickness because it came in 50 square feet from the measurements I took I think I'm only going to use about 30 square feet to cover everything with one layer of this stuff and I got the 50 mil because if I need more I could just stack it on top of each other and technically get around 100 mil thickness which will be better than the 80 mil thickness that you can buy now in order to install this I'm going to be using the Neukolt roller one you can see right there I will have a link down in the description so you guys can buy this exact one but the roller I used the one with the little ridges It'll focus. now the kill mat is actually pretty cool because it has these little ridges so the way you know that this is pressed down all the way is when these ridges are gone so once these are flat and you don't have any more ridges then you know you're good to go and you don't have to keep pushing down on it anymore now I already went ahead and uh, prepped the whole surface. I first did some degreaser on everything since there was a bunch of dirt and grime stuck in there. Got rid of all that with some degreaser and then now I hit it with some acetone. So now that we hit it with acetone, now we are good to just start laying these mats down. So this is currently where I'm at with about 25 minutes worth of doing all this. Now, pretty straightforward. There's not really any tips I can give you guys. Um, yeah, it, it's super straightforward. Uh, and it is super easy to cut for your bolts for your seats like this. You just get a razor blade, cut around it. Over here we have a grommet that I want to keep. So I just took the grommet out and then cut around there and like put my grommet back on. That way I could run wires, airlines, or whatever I need to run. But uh, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, the thing comes with the instructions. You lay it on and you just roll it and you're good. Now, there's definitely a noticeable difference. Uh, I don't know yet what the finished outcome will be like. Uh, but if you can see the... You can hear it rattling a little versus... So it definitely muffles the tone. I did keep this part of the factory sound deadening just because there's a lot of noise right there in the transmission clutch area and all that so I figured this is probably the thing I want to cover the most. Now that I got the whole floor done and a good majority of the back, now I'm going to be doing the doors. Luckily, we have some access panels down here. I just gotta move this plastic, uh, but now I'm gonna clean the back side underneath back here. That way we can uh, put some sound deadening. I'm gonna put it as low as I can and go as high as I can. So it'll probably be around here on the back, on the outer skin of the door. And then uh, I don't know if I'm going to put some on here yet. I might put one sheet right here in the middle just to kind of help get rid of that little tin sound. All 
I'm just about done covering everything. Now I'm gonna cut a couple of these pieces and stick them in parts like that. But uh, for the most part, under the seat is done as well. Um, back here is done. For the most part, it's pretty pretty good. I did the inside of the doors. So I'm gonna have speakers right here, so I doubled it up right there. And then uh, obviously got that door over there. So right now I have 13 sheets left. Uh, I started with 47, so I got about 34 on the truck. Um, give or take, sands, I screwed up a couple, uh, which I kind of made them work, but I had to throw one away just because it was just really bad. So I guess you can say around 33, 34 um, sheets took for a single cab 720. Now your car or truck might vary a little bit, but you can see how much I covered. I covered all the way up there. I covered the trans tunnel all the way. I covered everything. I covered the whole back. I even put it some inside the doors. So. To have 13 sheets left over, it's not bad at all. This is another reason why I ended up getting this one because this one had 50 square feet. So now with the leftover that I have after I finish doing a couple of pieces, I'm just going to put some of this, the leftover on top and double it up. That way it helps, you know, kind of double it up. And instead of having a 50 mil, I'll have a 100 mil essentially. Oh, so now the sound deadening is all done. Uh, in the next video, it should be, uh, we should be installing the carpet. So if you guys are interested in seeing a brand new carpet kit go into the truck, I would definitely recommend sticking around. But uh, I will be doing a video, a before and after. I did shoot a couple clips of me just driving around with the windows up, doing a bunch of tests before I did the sound deadening. So now that I got the sound deadening in, I'm going to drive around, try to mimic those same clips and uh, try to post a video for you guys showing you before and after. That way you guys can see if it's worth it or not. Personally, I think it's, it's worth it, but I'll leave it up to you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram or down in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, but with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.